Hi, my name is Rui Wang. I'm currently a research fellow in the Mayo Clinic. It's my great pleasure to introduce a recently discovered immune system in bacteria and archaea. It's called CRISPR interference. Let's start from our own immune system, under the defense of which we are able to either avoid or recover from diseases such as flu, cold, cancer, heart disease, etc. Our immune system has some unique functions. It can remember the threat we encounter and when the same threat happens, it can react faster and more easily. Also, our immune system can distinguish self versus non-self elements such as cells, tissues, etc. and it only reacts against the non-self elements. So the immune system is so loyal and smart no wonder many organisms have developed their own immune system, including bacteria. This presentation will introduce a recently discovered immune system acquired by bacteria and archaea, and only bacteria will be used as an example here to illustrate this immune system. First, let me briefly introduce the major players in this system. Within all the life forms that threat our health, Bacteria and viruses are usually blamed for nasty cold, flu, and other diseases, so they are the major enemies of our immune system. Of course, our immune system is also the enemy of both bacteria and viruses. People always say, enemy's enemy is friend. So is that the case here? Are bacteria and viruses friends? Of course, no. When bacteria coexist with uh, viruses, which can also be called phages here, phages attack bacteria. This figure also shows the reality that uh, bacteria are greatly outnumbered by their natural predators, phages. But bacteria are still able to survive and even thrive. Like many other researchers, you might also wonder why. Studies in this field show that Bacteria have developed different defense mechanisms to fight against the phages. Recently, a big breakthrough in this field shows that many bacteria have a very sophisticated immune system called CRISPR interference. This figure shows a typical structure of a CRISPR locus within the whole genome of one bacterium. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. A CRISPR unit includes uh, repeated same sequences labeled by R here, interspaced by different DNA sequences labeled by S1, S2, S3. R represents repeat sequences. They are the same in one CRISPR locus. S1, S2, S3 are different spacer sequences. These spacer sequences are different even in one CRISPR locus. They are derived from the genome of different invading genetic elements, including uh, phages. The leader sequence is right in front of the CRISPR unit. It's always close to the newest inserted spacer sequence, such as S1 here. Cas genes encode Cas proteins, which are very important in CRISPR interference. So you might wonder how CRISPR interference is used by bacteria as an immune system. This figure helps addressing that question. When one bacterium is attacked by one phage, if this bacterium is not smart, it will die and the phage can be proliferated. But if this bacterium is smart, it can recognize a DNA sequence from the genome of the invading phage and insert this DNA sequence into its own genome within the CRISPR locus. And now this DNA sequence is a spacer sequence. And later, this spacer sequence can be used to fight against an invading phage that has the same genome sequence to the one from which this spacer is derived. So in this case, the bacterium uh, survives and the phage can be suppressed. So CRISPR interference has three major steps. Adaptation, which means that a new spacer needs to be incorporated into the CRISPR locus. Processing, which means that the CRISPR locus needs to be transcribed and uh, the, the transcribed RNA needs to be further processed into small RNAs. 
The small RNAs are the major players in the third step uh, interference because they can be used to fight against the invading phages. These steps will be talked in detail later. In the following slides, figures will be used to help illustrating this immune system. In this figure, this rectangle represents a bacterium. It's one crisp locus is shown here. Under the figure, we have a cheat sheet including the terms used in the figures. At the bottom, we have words, uh, we have words crisp interference followed by different steps we are in, such as adaptation, processing interference. Right now, we are not in any step yet because this bacterium is not uh, even attacked by anything. The life of this bacterium is abnormal until one phage attacks. Again, if this bacterium is not smart, it will die, but now we are talking about a very smart bacterium. So the Cas genes can produce Cas proteins such as Cas1, Cas2, or even other Cas proteins. These proteins can circle along the genome of the invading phage looking for PAM sequence. PAM stands for protospacer adjacent motif, and once PAM, it, PAM sequence is located, the Cas proteins can start cleave the protospacer sequence and incorporate it into the CRISP locus, and now this sequence becomes a new spacer sequence. So now the phage is suppressed, and the life of this bacterium is back to normal. The only difference is now the bacterium has a new spacer sequence. So the life is good until another phage attacks. This phage has a same genome sequence to the previous attacking phage. So what this smart bacterium can do is to transcribe its CRISP locus into long precursor cRNA, which can be further processed into small cRNAs by endoribonucleases such as Cas6. These small, these small cRNAs can work together with the Cas proteins produced from Cas genes to form a protein RNA complex called Cascade, which searches along the genome of the invading phage looking for PAM sequence again. Once the PAM sequence is located, the, the, the cascade starts to cleave the genome of the invading phage. As a result, the phage can be suppressed, and the life of this bacterium is back to normal again. This bacterium, of course, survives. So we can see that CRISPR interference is a small RNA-based immune system that can be used by bacteria to fight against the invading phages. It has three major steps, adaptation, processing, and interference. Like our human immune system, this recently discovered immune system also has the ability to distinguish self versus, versus non-self elements. PAM sequence plays an important role in this function because it has proteins only cleave genetic elements with the PAM sequence. But the PAM sequence only exists in the genome of the invading phage. So as a result, only the genome of the invading phage can be cleaved, and the genetic elements belonging to the bacteria are untouched. Also, this recently discovered immune system has the ability to remember the threat the host encounters. Later, when the same threat happens again, it can react faster and more easily, just like our human immune system. Spacer sequence plays an important role in this function because spacer sequence is derived from the previous invading phage, and then it can be used to fight against the recent, the new, the new, uh, intact, the new attacking phage. So. CRISPR interference was only discovered recently, but it has been found to have great application potential in basic science, clinic environment, and economy. Since it has the ability to interfere genetic elements, it, uh, the CRISPR interference can be used to study protein function in, bi in basic science. And uh, in clinics and hospitals, CRISPR interference can be used to limit the spread of antibiotic-resistant pathogens which can cause the infectious diseases. Also, CRISPR interference can be used in gene therapy in treating 
uh, cancer, AIDS, and other human diseases. Since CRISPR interference can be used by dairy industry to prevent phage contamination, it can also be used to improve crop production, so these are very good for our economy. Since CRISPR interference has uh, such great application potential, many companies have invested uh, in CRISPR uh, study, and uh, uh, only a few of these companies are listed in this slide. So I'm lucky enough to be involved in the study of CRISPR interference. We work together with our amazing collaborators from Dr. Michael Turns group in University of Georgia. Our study shows that Cas6 is a endoribonuclease processing long precursor cRNA into small cRNAs, and our structure of Cas6 shows that Cas6 has a catalytic triad, and also it has other structural figures that make Cas6 a wonderful endoribonuclease. The the structure of Cas6 together with its substrate. CRISPR RNAs show that Cas6 different from other endoribonucleases involved in the processing step can bind and cleave non-structured CRISPR RNAs. The structures of Cas6 interacting with different CRISPR RNAs show how Cas6 can accommodate different CRISPR RNAs in each organism. So this is the brief introduction of my study in CRISPR interference. So here I want to thank Dr. Groto and other GeoSet members for giving me this great opportunity to introduce this recently discovered immune system. I also want to thank my PhD advisor Dr. Hang Li for giving me this amazing project to work on. Also, I want to thank my postdoc advisors, Dr. Liang Tang and Dr. Yvette Rudisky for keeping me in science to explore more interesting scientific projects. Thank you for your attention.